Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, please be a witness for that for over 200 now videos on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers, and some people not even subscribers but I, I still make the video for them. I'm fine with that, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, hold on a second. If you're interested in Shopify, you want to learn how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will, I don't have any paid memberships on the channel, so every little thing I do create, including the calls and the videos, I post them completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case most of the videos on YouTube, if not all of them. And I don't just create videos, random videos, I do actually create videos that people ask for and questions and requests and issues that people have with their Shopify store. So it's a one-way situation, but it's your decision, I let you decide, and I respect your decision, just a like button if this video helped you out. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to do the thing you're trying to do. And here I am again, back with another requested video, as always, which is how to adjust the width of the drop down menu header on your Shopify store. I mean the header, the drop down menu on it if you wanna adjust the width of it. If you have a very long title for a category or something, uh, that may be taking too much of the uh, drop down menu. So in this video, I will show you how to adjust the width of that drop down menu. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have hit down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every code I do share, or every tutorial I do create, I do demonstration in the video on down team. Because it's the most used one, also it's the most requested one. But below here, if I scroll down, I have every other free Shopify team, the most used ones again, which is Refresh, Spotlight, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try my calls behind the scenes on all of these teams. So I'd make sure that even if you're not using down team, using one of these should work for you just fine. And I just have to say this in the beginning to give you that peace of mind, because if you didn't see me doing it on down team, you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's not working for the others. No, it is. And here is your peace of mind. And without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to adjust the drop down menu width on your Shopify store on the header. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So every little thing that you see in the Shopify store, I did it in tutorials, literally everything. So if you saw anything on the Shopify store that you liked and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your store as well, then just check out the channel because once it's here, you see it on the store, that means it's already done in one of my previous videos because I don't remove the changes from here. I keep them so people can see them. But what I'm talking about is this one right here. Oh yeah, the icon for the drop down menu items. I did that in video as well. So I will show you how to adjust the width of this to make it like longer, taking bigger uh, on the screen. And so obviously we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And then here we need to find a specific file. Instead of clicking at the folders, you might get dizzy or something. Use the search bar at the top left corner. And again, I have to mention this for the million time now. It's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css and some custom made teams gonna be custom.css. But mostly they use base or team or style. Mine I know is base, I'm gonna type in base, here it is. Oh, double A. Oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> okay, okay. Base, now it's base. Okay, so click on base.css. After that, let's just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. Here we go. So in here, we need to create some space to paste in our code, but there is no space. To create that space, click front of the last thing in the line here. In my case, which is a closing bracket, then hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go, we have a completely new line to paste in our code and where are you gonna get that code? As always, from the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a code link, uh, name it as link, sorry, name it as code, click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this very short code that will do the trick for us as you can see. So select the whole code, right click, copy and if you notice, width and 350. This P in X stands for Pixel. So if you want it bigger, increase the number. You want it smaller, decrease the number. It's really simple. After you copy the code, get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file in the space that we did create. I'm gonna keep it as 350 just for demonstration. 
Let's just click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, we'll get back in here. You can see how it looks like, like now, so let's just reload the page. Okay, if we click on it, check it out. Now it's much bigger as you can see. And that's how you adjust the width of the drop down menu on your Shopify store by using our own custom code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below and I will be happy to make a video for you. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching, catch you on the next one.